Hi, it's Tui from Deputy here. Today we're going to look at custom timesheet fields. Custom timesheet fields allow you to put in certain pieces of information at checkout. Things like checklists, questions, file uploads, and so on. In this instance, we'll be creating a custom field asking for feedback for when a shift ends. We always need to give the field a name. Then what we'll do is choose the type and the validation is mandatory. In this instance, we're gonna put in, how could today have been better? Then what we'll need to do is scroll down and select the areas of work that this question applies to. I'm gonna select all of my areas of work All I need to do now is save this custom field. Now let's go and have a look how this affects somebody checking out. When they hit end shift, what they'll need to do is go in and provide the shift feedback. In this instance, we've got, how could today have been better? And it's just a matter of leaving an answer as this is a required field. Once this question has been answered and filled out, it's just a matter of clicking submit and then a person is good to go. Now we're going to look at creating a file upload custom field, asking employees to take a photo of their fuel receipt. Again, we'll go in and we'll create a new custom field. We'll choose the system, in this instance being timesheet, and then we'll type in a field name. In this instance, we'll say fuel reimbursement. We'll also be required to fill out the API name. We could call it fuel reimbursement, we're gonna call it fuel receipt. Then what we need to do is go in and select the type. In this instance, it's going to be a file upload. Again, we need to select the validation, whether it's mandatory and if it's unique or not. So I'm gonna go in and save timesheet. And then what I'll do now is to select my areas of work that this would apply to. This is mainly going to apply to my delivery drivers. Now let's go and have a look at how this affects the checkout. Again, when the person hits end shift, what they'll be required to do is go into a field where it says fuel reimbursement and upload a file. You can either take a photo or upload a pre-existing file from your mobile device. All I need to do now is wait for this file to be uploaded and then it's just a matter of going in and clicking submit and I've now checked out with my file upload. Now we're going to look at creating a Boolean with no add comment required field. What we're going to do is we're going to explain how this works. So we'll first we'll select the system, again being timesheet. We'll give this one a field name. So we're just going to type in this field, injury free shift. Again, this will filter down to the API name as injury free shift. What I'll need to do is again select a type. In this instance, it's going to be a Boolean checkbox, no, with comment required, or Boolean checkbox, yes, with a comment required. This will force the person to leave a comment based on their answer to the, to the question. Again, we're going to make that mandatory, or not. The help, text, the help text section is where we would put in the question. In this instance, it's, did you have an injury-free shift? Again, what we'll do is we'll choose the areas of work that this is going to apply to. And again, what we do is save this custom field. Now let's go and have a look how this affects somebody checking out. Again, when they hit end shift, what will happen is they'll be required to answer this question. Did you have an injury free shift? So the person is now putting in a comment that says, burn my finger on the stove. As this is a forced comment that they need to leave as part of the checkout process. Now we're going to look at number fields within the custom timesheet field section. So we go to miscellaneous and again hit timesheet custom fields. Then again what we want to do is make sure that we're selecting the correct system. In this instance it will be timesheet. Again we'll give it a field name. In this instance we're going to call it tips received and then that will filter down to the API name now what we want to do is go through and select the type. In this instance, we're going to select the number field. Again, where we can choose to make this validation mandatory or not. In the help text, this is going to show users as a guide.
So the advice we're giving here is enter the amount of tips you collected this shift. Then we go through and we select the area. So I'm going to select Bob's bar and Bob's delivery, the drive through window. And then I'm going to save this custom field. Now let's look at how this affects somebody on checkout. So now when going to end your shift, you're required to enter the amount of tips received during your shift. So I'll put in 108. And then it's just a matter of ending that shift. Now we're going to look at list fields. So again, we'll select the system being timesheet. Again, we need to go in and select a field name. In this instance, we'll put popular size of coffees. This again will filter down to the API name. From the list, we're going to select list. Then from the value list section, we need to specify the multi options here. In this instance, we'll put small, medium, and large, and again, make that mandatory. We'll provide some help text as a guide. So what was the most popular size of coffee? Go through again, select our areas of work. I'll we'll go through and I'll select Bob's kitchen. I'll also select the waiter slash floor area and also the management area and SAM service as well. Then I just save this custom field. Now let's look how this affects somebody on checkout. So when clicking end shift, you'll now be required to enter what was the most popular size of coffee sold today. In this instance, it was medium. Then it's just a matter of checking out. Now we're going to look at multi-list fields. Go through and select new custom field. Again, what we we'll want to do is go through into the system section and select timesheet. And again, in the field name, we'll put closing checklist. This will filter down to the API name. From the list, we'll select multi-list as our format for our type. Again, we need to put a value list option. In this instance, coffee machine cleaned and closed, fridge restocked, and front of house cleaned, and windows closed. And security system set will make this mandatory. And again, put in some help text. So we're going to put, please ensure that the following have been completed before the store is closed. We'll select our areas of work underneath our locations. In this instance, we'll say the manager area for Bob's and we'll say the manager area for Sammy Snack Packs. Now it's just a matter of saving this custom field. Now let's look how this affects somebody on checkout. So now when, enter, when ending the shift, you have a closing checklist that you need to mark off. In this instance, we can say that everything was done correctly. And then finally, hit OK. Now we can go through and we can end our shift. Any relevant comments? And then it's just a matter of clicking End Shift. Now we're going to look at now we're going to look at how the Boolean list can be affected using the custom timesheet field section. So again, we'll go through and hit new custom field. The first thing we need to do is select our system in, the, in this instance being timesheet. Give the field a name. In this instance, we'll say rest break. Now we need to choose the type. In this instance, it's a Boolean checkbox. And again, we can choose to make that mandatory or not. We'll have some help text to guide the person checking out. So have you had your rest break during this shift? We'll go through and select our areas of work. A 
and then it's simply just a matter of scrolling up and saving this field. Now let's have a look how this affects somebody on checkout. Now when ending the shift, you'll be required to answer the question, have you had a rest break during this shift? You can simply toggle on or off to answer the question, have you had a rest during this shift? You could also provide any comments if necessary. Then it's just a matter of clicking end shift and you're all done.